Botox is kind of a household name these days, but there are some alternatives to treating deep brow and forehead lines. And Dr. Dean Bear of Bear Medical Spa joins us with those details. Good morning, Dr. Bear. Good morning. Good to have you. This is a topic of conversation for so many people these days. And so I want to understand first, this is a little bit technical, but what are neuromodulators and how do they work? Neuromodulators, the best known is Botox, obviously. Yes. It's kind of like the Kleenex of the um, <laughs> of this type of medication. Okay. And it's a medication that relaxes the muscles that mm -hmm. they're injected into. So the result is smoother forehead, mm -hmm. you get rid of those frown lines, yeah. the crow's feet, those lines that bother people, obviously. The, the lines that bother yeah. people. But we hear about different kinds of things that help. We hear about things like Dysport and Xeomin. What are the differences between those two things and Botox? Well, Botox was the first medication to be uh, developed for this. Okay. And it's been around for over 20 years. Yeah. Dysport is a very similar medication. It's been in the United States for about five years and Xeomin for about a year. They all have the same identical active molecule, little different uh, manufacturing process that okay. gives them somewhat different characteristics, but they all work essentially the same, relaxing those muscles, mm -hmm. smoothing out those wrinkles. Well, I want to demystify some of the fears that people have first and foremost, because I've heard people say things that neuromodulators could be poisonous. Is that true? Simply, these are purified proteins. The question is, are they safe? Mm -hmm. 13 million doses of cosmetic Botox were administered last year. Wow. So we know wow. an awful lot about these sorts of medications. They're very safe. Okay. If, if they weren't, then certainly wouldn't be administering 13 million doses of those. Exactly. Yeah. Well, and you know, speaking of myths, that's why I want to bring this up because I know a lot of people, and you and I have talked about this, especially people who, who work in an industry where their facial animations are very important. You worry, will your face look frozen or would you look like, you know, will it look plastic if you have any kind of a neuromodulator? Let's demystify that right now and talk about it. Well, this is where the art comes into yes. this practice. And the right um, doctor. <laughs> so I have people that come in and go, I don't want any movement from here up. Wow. And certainly I, I can do that. Sure. But most people, they want some refreshment of the, their look. They yeah. want to look rested, but they want to look natural. They want to have facial expression. Exactly. And so that's where the art comes in as far as how it's administered, the doses. Mm -hmm. uh, so. That yeah. it, it does certainly you don't want that plastic look. At least most people don't. Well, you really want to be able to get rid, of, especially the deeper lines. But you don't want to not be able to move your face. I mean, sure. I think that's most people's concern. I really do. And and I think another thing that people worry about is it will it hurt? The needles that we use are um, actually um, diabetic insulin needles. The needle is as fine as an acupuncture mm -hmm, needle, and mm -hmm. most people, you know, first time they have this done, they're cringing, they go, <laughs> is it over? <laughs> right, you know, right. it, it's really very, very comfortable. It's just like a pinch. So yes. it's just that initial, it's, maybe it's just that initial fear, because everybody yes. gets scared when they see a needle, no matter who you are. Right, I don't right. care how brave you are. Everybody gets scared when they see a needle, but then you realize it's not so bad. Exactly. And that's the thing. Now, so how long after treatment with any kind of neuromodulator will you see the results? Well, that's one of the differences between these three products. Mm -hmm. Botox takes about a week uh, to see results. Right. Um, Dysport, you start seeing results in about three days. Really? Um, and uh, Xeomin, about 24 hours. But wow. full activity of all these, about 10 days. So how long do the results actually last then? That's variable, and mm -hmm. that's also part of that art. Yeah. So if I'm relaxing those muscles but not freezing them, then it's going to probably last three months. Yes. If I use higher doses, it may last up to six months. Now, would you recommend the different things for different people based on their age, based on the, how deep the lines are as far as whether they would do Botox or Dysport or Xeomin? Would, would, would you recommend something different? You know, part of it is uh, a person's individual uh, reaction to these. Oh, okay. uh, some people respond better f to one than the other. Mm. Um, I like Xeomin particularly because it's very, it does not spread very much in the muscles. So mm. if I want to be very accurate with uh, the treatment, then I oftentimes would use Xeomin. But by far we use mostly Botox. 
Yeah, I mean, and, and you really do see such good results. So many people, I, I, I come into contact with a lot of people and I say, you have the best skin. And in fact, I actually had a friend who said to me, oh, well, I didn't want to tell you, but I had Botox at, at Bear Medical Spa. So that's why you don't see lines on my head. Trust me, this is not natural. And I said, I cannot believe that because you, she was moving her face like sure. totally normal. So, you know, I think it's comforting for people to know you don't have to look frozen. You don't have to have that crazy, crazy right, eyebrow face. Right. <laughs> you know? and, it, and, and again, the fact that it doesn't hurt and that you see results pretty quickly, I think is definitely a comforting thought as well. Absolutely. So, yeah. You know, we have the mothers come in and go, I want it relaxed. I don't want the wrinkles, but I want to be able to give that look to my kids that they know <laughs> I'm serious. You know? So they know you mean business. Yes. Yeah. Well, how can viewers contact you to make an appointment? They can contact us 881-1532 or on the web at uh, bearmedicalspa.com. Okay. Just want to remind everyone that our holiday open houses are uh, the 7th and 8th. That's next uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Perfect. 15% um, discount when you come. Good. All the representatives from the companies are going to be there that can talk about Botox, this port. Oh, all good. the laser treatments that we do, all the treatments that we do. And this is a really good way to kick off the holiday season. Oh, it sure is. You want to look good. And November yes. 7th and 8th. And, hey, why not? If you can get 15% off a service, that's the time to do it. Dr. Bear, thank you. Oh, thank you. Tell Christy we said hi. Thank you for being with us. And we will be right back. We've got some fun in the kitchen.